Police have now granted 500 EFF members permission to march to Brackenfell High School. Initially, only 100 demonstrators were allowed. Around 2,000 EFF members have returned to the school today to demonstrate against alleged racism there. Police earlier used water cannons and tear gas to disperse the crowd. Let's cross live now to our reporter Aisha Ishmael, who is outside the school for the latest. Uh, Aisha, we saw that uh, Ronald is with the many EFF supporters who are saying that they won't uh, exactly make their way there. It sounds more calmer where you are. It is indeed, but what the situation is, is that um, initially we saw the podium being erected here outside the school by members of the EFF and then all of a sudden we saw them dismantling the podium and they were saying that they were going to go to the post office where they were going to address um, crowds outside the post office and then straight after the post office they will still come to the school to come and hand over a memorandum. But I did speak to some members of, of the South African Police Services and they were saying that they will not allow the EFF to come to hand over the memorandum at the school. They've decided that everything will take place at the post office and that the EFF will not be allowed to come to Brackenfell High School. Now, we did also speak to some members of the school here and they were saying to us that they were expecting um, members of, or a representative rather, of the Western Cape Education Department to receive a memorandum from the EFF and that is expected to take place outside the post office. So we are waiting here to see um, whether the EFF is going to manage to get through the razor wire that has been put on both sides of this road where the school is situated um, and whether they will be allowed to get through or whether they will be able to break through that razor wire. We also saw while we were standing here the, um, the police water cannon heading towards the post office. At the moment there is a helicopter hovering over the school um, and I'm just assuming that and listening to, 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 to people around you, they're saying that the crowd, um, the EFF members are heading towards the post office at the moment. Mm. Um, have we gotten any chance, Aisha, to speak to any community members around the school, uh, parents perhaps? We did speak to them earlier. Um, we've just come down from where they are because um, the school, I just want to give you an indication also about um, how long this road is. At the, right at the bottom of the road, um, there you can see there's razor wire over there. And then I'm just going to see if we can manage to show you where the, um, where the residents are, the residents are of Brackenfell, who said that they had come to protect the school and to protect the learners. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, you can see the um, police are already um, getting ready with their police vehicles and as well as the water cannon and the residents are actually standing on the other side of the razor wire. Mm -hmm. What is it that they are telling us Aisha uh, besides the fact that they are saying that they are there to protect uh, of course the school, the learners and the teachers there, um, what is their reaction to so many of the EFF supporters having descended on the community today? Well, what they are saying is, and, and, and especially a lot of them came out to support the Cape Party, um, and they were saying that when the police asked the Cape Party to disperse, saying that they did not have a permit to be here and that their gathering was actually illegal, they, um, the members of the Cape Party said, well, if you're telling us that our gathering here is illegal, how come you're allowing the EFF to gather when um, the permit that they have specifically says only 100 members when there are more more than 500 EFF members um, outside the post office or also those trying to come to the school. So on the one side, the residents are saying that the police are, um, they, they, they understand that the police are here to do their work, but they're saying you, you cannot tell us that we are um, having an illegal ga gathering here when we're here to protect the residents and to protect the school and the learners most importantly, but at the same time, you're allowing the EFF to march down 
down the streets um, in their numbers and you're not doing anything about that. But of course, we did see the police in full force trying to stop the EFF from advancing towards the school. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very interesting, though, to see if the EFF is indeed going to make it to Brackenfell High School to hand over that memorandum. Mm. Well, thank you very much. That is uh, reporter Aisha Ishmael coming to us live from outside the Brackenfell High School.